Hello and welcome to part 13 of Let's Play Link's Awakening DX. I'm NHSDL6, thanks for joining me. Um, well, much to my dismay, and I was very upset to, to find this out, um, the desync's back. And, like you know, since I can't use save states anymore, I have to keep Visual Boy Advance running at all times. I can't even close the window, because if I close the window and I reload um, a save state, it automatically goes to the glitch menu. So I've had to resort to keeping the game up full time on my computer, just leave it on the uh, in the panel on the bottom. So you know, I thought that the problem was that I had changed one of my settings to 17. Changed it away from 17. Well, that was the problem. I changed it back to 17. But I also absentmindedly, while I was doing that, thought, hey, you know, I was doing some test videos, and before I decided to record this one, I um, made a, made, you know, test videos, and I, I decided to tinker around with a couple of the, a uh, couple of the settings, and one of the settings that I messed around with was the frame rate, and that was a bad idea because I changed it. This is, and you wouldn't think that this would make any deal. I changed it from 59 to 58, and that has caused the sound to jump ahead of the video, which is very strange because the video plays normally, but then at one point it gradually gets faster and faster and faster to the point where it doesn't line up hardly at all. So I really, really, really do apologize for the fact that the audio decided to be a complete douchebag, and you know, and it, and it sucks because you know there's a lot of cool music parts in this video like the Mambo's Mambo part you know I really like that song I thought it was pretty cool but you know it's not gonna line up anymore and I tried different things like you know splitting the audio from the video and then trying to sync the audio up but it's gradual there was not one point part where like the audio decided to cut out and then as soon as it was done cutting out it came back in it didn't do that so I couldn't go and splice the audio back in you know, because it started to happen on a gradual basis. So, you know, what can you do? But I changed the setting from 58 back to 59, and you know, my my videos when they had done that were on. They occasionally desynced near the end, but it wasn't a big deal. You know, it was maybe in the last like two or three minutes, which I didn't mind. So I think I'm gonna go back to that. I'd rather have two or three minutes of desync over um over you know the whole video which is basically what this one is it starts to desync almost around a minute and a half so that's kind of a problem if any of you have any suggestions um, I have to use the VBA that I use because I tried to boot up the ROM with the save states that I've been using um, with any other VBA and it won't let me it comes with an error so I have to use the VBA that I'm using so that's not an option if you can think of anything Cam Studio wise, because that's the only recording program that my computer will allow, if you can think of anything, um, you know, anything that I could do in terms of fixing the uh, fixing the lag with the sound, I'd like to hear it. Um, basically, I could tell you is that I have to use the Microsoft One. When it comes to using Camp Studio, I can't use any other codecs because this computer is a piece of crap and it hates them. So I can't use any other codecs. That's not an option. Um, so I have to use that, the Microsoft One deal. And my settings, if any of you have used um, Cam Studio before, are set to uh, capture a frame every 59 milliseconds. Um, the frame rate is roughly 17, and then the one was like playback was at 59 milli was 59 frames millisecond, right? So if any of you, you know, if if something about that seems fishy to you, or you know, like 59, oh this should be this, or 17, you know this should be this. If if you know what would be a better option, or whatever your recording process is, and it works for you, let me know. I'd like to hear it. So I'm I'm all open to suggestions, whatever it is, you know, because you know, my original videos after part two, they weren't really bad, you know. I didn't mind having the desync occasionally, you know, the end of the videos, but you know, 
if I could make it more precise and make my videos look crisper by having the sound line up perfectly for the whole 10 minutes, you know, uh, that'd be great. So if any of you have any other information, let me know. I appreciate any suggestions. So anyway, back to this video to talk about the content. Um, once you finish the English tunnel and you go into the warp, which I should not have done, but if you do go into the warp, you will wind up with this little ghost. He is a lost soul, and he is traveling, and he needs somebody to help him find his house. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to we're gonna find his house. But first, before I did that, I went to uh, I went back to the English tunnel so that I could get Monbo's Mambo, I believe that's what it's called, on my ocarina, which transports you to the pool of water, um, which is very, very close to the witch's hut. I believe that uh, the pool of water is right outside um, Tracy. Oh yeah, that uh, catfish looking create creature, that is going, that's the fifth dungeon, that's the catfish's maw, we'll be heading there next time. That's where we get a very, that's where we get my favorite item. But anyway, back to uh, the thing. Um, uh, it's the pond is right next to Tracy's, which is where you get the potion, much like the potion that Maple might drop. Um, that's where you get the potion for uh, the potion for if you die, it will restore all your hearts. So it's kind of like a fairy in a bottle from like the past. So now that we've got him back to his house, he's gonna check things out for a second, see what's up. Nostalgia unchanged. Boo hoo. Enough cemetery. Take me my grave. Okay, so now. It's the douchiest ghost. Ugh. He's using us. Find somebody else. Good. What have you got to do with us? We need good 50 rupees. It's, we're all getting closer and closer to that looming 980 so we gotta keep on trucking so now we gotta take this douchebag back to the cemetery um and while we're there we're gonna get some special stuff you'll see I had to be very careful around here because I was close to dying but luckily these two the goblins gave me hearts so I was in better shape so, we're going to get out of here, head back to the cemetery, and give this ghost proper burial. Thank God, he's driving me insane. Alright, so, now we're going to chop this down, then we have the flippers, and we get another secret seashell. Um, if I come al across these along the way, I will pick them up, but, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to find the ones that are in dungeons, or, you know, not yet anyway, but, okay. These were, these were all in the area, and I figured I might as well, because I have the flippers now, so I can feel free to do that. So now we have two more. We got four total. We need to have 20 in order to acquire the, uh, the item, which is a secret. We're going to use show you a little example of Mambo's Mambo. Um, as, you can, as you can see, it took me right outside Tracy's little hut there. Little house. Alright, we're gonna head to the Tabal Wasteland in order to get back to the cemetery, which is where this crazy ghost is. And I decided to be a fool and head the wrong direction. So, once I get, got back on course, kill some more of these stupid crow raven things. There is the witch's hut where we made our magic crack powder. Now we are in the cemetery, and these ghosts are very powerful, so it takes multiple hits to kill them, and they can take a lot of your health, almost two hearts every time, so just be careful. Right now, we can't get that heart piece yet, but after the next dungeon, we will be able to get it. So now we're going to dodge the octopus thing and the, and the bat. This takes you a little underground passage to another secret item, which is not obvious at all. Hmm, I wonder what this could be. Oh, whoops. Wrong spot. There we go. It's our fifth secret seashell. Fifteen more, and then we will acquire the secret item, which is very helpful for progressing. And there we go. Thank 
make you a jar in my home. Look inside. Bye bye. And the owl, of course. Hoot. It has been some time since our paths crossed, lad. We must dive into the waters of Martha's Bay to enter the catfish's mouth. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry onward. Woo. I'm NHS 6 Thanks for watching. Thank you. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.